Good morning, everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good late afternoon. Is it late afternoon anywhere? Probably is. Probably late afternoon over on the east coast, maybe, of the US. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome back to the madness today. Today, first stream, uh, first flight, I should say. That didn't take long to load those passengers. That's because we have no passengers. Um, today, what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to check that I'm not on mute, and I'm not, which is one time in a row that I haven't done that. Uh, we had a suggestion to fly from Woodburn to Auckland. Uh, we've amended the flight plan just slightly. We're now going to fly to a little airport, NZMH, and I've completely forgotten the name of it. But that airport, just to the west of Christchurch, up in the mountains there, it's a small airstrip, not really rated for an A320, but I think at the end of the day, we should give it a go and see how we do. We're going to give it a good old nudge. Uh, we're going to see if we can get in there. Uh, we're going to have to throw the reverse thrusters on, probably from about 100 uh, nautical miles out. That's the way I read it. Little Jenny, how are you doing? Nice, good to see you. Welcome. Who else we got in here? Mr. Magma, good morning. Jin Key, how are you doing? Mayday is in the house, how are you doing? Frank, how are you doing? Or Frank, actually. G'day from Australia. How are you doing? Chris is here, the madman. How are you doing? We're now an extra hour ahead of you, actually, Chris. It's daylight savings overnight. Uh, you don't want to be the one in the loud turbo prop, prop again. Fair enough. Um, Mr. Meg has been flying the 350, the King Air 350, that is. Kind of wish the systems were a bit uh, in, more in depth on it. Alan is in the house. Alan Burrows is in the house. Uh, if you've got any complaints, go and talk to him. He'll deal with them appropriately. Uh, Mr. Magma, yo, yo. We've got a, a string of yo's there. An airline letting me fly an Airbus here. Uh, they don't know about it. Uh, we're just going to quickly take off before they realise that one of the aircraft is missing. Captain Safety is here. Captain Safety, I'm going to land in a small airstrip on this. A320 you can just confirm that that does indeed meet with the uh, required uh, regulations. The required regulations being uh, what we, you know, our regulations essentially. John Beasley is in and wins the official title of John B today. Congratulations. Emotional to say the least. Come back from a New World Order safety meeting. <laughs> Daylight savings is a swear word in WA. Yeah, I know. You guys are now five hours behind. HBBN74, how are you doing? Captain Safety has indeed, has indeed confirmed that we are good to go. Anyway, I thought that a um, 25% off updating my... F f okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Well, we can hang around a little bit while people get the act together. Let's have a look around the airport here. This is a small military airport, actually, just at the top of the South Island in New Zealand. So uh, it should be a bit of fun. No, I'm not entering a flight plan in this uh, A320. We'll just, uh, we'll just play it by ear, see how we go. Uh, I'll put a small flight plan in departure and destination that's all uh little jenny is wishing us our passengers the best <laughs> check the replay later good stuff hey awesome that you could jump in thanks little jenny good to see you okay um i think though why chris just uh revs up his uh fly by wire probably a good opportunity i think we probably need to actually do a, a... is this thing moving i think we actually looks like is it just me or is that thing rotating slightly i don't know could just be me yeah exactly totally overrated captain safety flight plans are so i think we just need to uh, go i think we need to all learn a little bit about flying in a larger aircraft because we're not used to it so um i think let's go to the classroom and see what is going on Right, good morning everybody welcome to the kiwi air flight school now of course it's uh it's been a while since i've been in the classroom uh it's got nothing to do with the fact that i had to set up my office and i was too lazy so just uh don't even put that in your mind it's got nothing to do with that the first thing i want to talk about today in the kiwi air flight school uh, a320 class this is a specific uh 
type rating for your A320 that you've all signed up to. Thank you for that. I've, uh, you know, obviously you gave me your bank account at the start of the uh, start of the month, and I've just uh, withdrawn the uh, one thousand uh, dollars. And that's, we're going to use that to buy some Nespresso capsules. That's what I've used to actually uh, uh, pay for your course. Uh, you don't know about it. It's okay. I uh, managed to get the bank manager to approve an overdraft, so don't worry about it. It's all good. We'll just go ahead with that. So the first thing I want to talk about in the A320 is the use of carb heat. A very important component uh, with uh, these larger aircraft. So essentially, the way carb heat works, and uh, you might... Now, what I would say, before we get into it, before we get into it, don't go and talk to some engineers and try to confirm what I'm saying. Just You just have to trust me, and that's the rule number one of Kiwi Air Flight School. Just trust what I'm saying. But carb heat. So th the purpose of carb heat is really to get that uh, get that warmth into your milk as you're making your Nespresso uh, on, bo in board the, uh, on board the on board the or within the cockpit. I'll spit it out eventually. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see how we go. So what you want to do is say you're feeling a bit tired. You think I need a Nespresso. You to put the milk frother in there. It's just down by the right hand uh, by your by your pedal by your rudder pedal, the right hand rudder pedal. Just put your milk container under there. Pull the carb heat on. And you want your milk to be at a nice temperature, not too hot. Don't do it too hot. Not too cold either. Just right. And that's about 400 degrees centigrade, there or thereabouts. Just why the bottom of your milk container starts going red. Then you know you've got your carb heat at the uh, right temperature. And so what you want to do then is obviously uh, turn your carb heat off and then go ahead and pour your Nespresso. Uh, and you can get on with your flight. Now, one thing to be aware of is that it can actually double up as a foot heater also. So if you get a bit cold in the Airbus here because you've got the window open, you know, because you want a bit of fresh air in the uh, cabin at 35,000 feet, make sure, go ahead, throw the carb heat on, keep your feet nice, nice and warm, and then obviously that's going to give you a lot more dexterity with your feet when you go to uh, land. <laughs> land, <laughs> you know, you probably won't be landing. Well, I mean, you might land on your left wing or something like that, but, uh, you know, let's just use land loosely. But this, uh, really, that's uh, lesson number one of using carb heat in the A320. Very important component of the aircraft. Once again, don't, get here, don't go ahead and check the details or the, uh, the factual nature of what I just said. you just got to trust me on that. So, now that you've got your carb heat sorted, that's pretty much the only thing you need to know to fly this aircraft. Get your carb heat right. Get your milk it to the right temperature. Keep your feet warm exceptionally important so lesson number two coming up soon bloody idiot <coughs> helps if I get into the right bit isn't it uh, Chris is just going to um, spawn on the runway. That's good. Yeah, carry your Bible a little time. Good point, Morrissey. I hadn't thought of that. Hadn't thought of that. Oh. All right, let's get inside this thing. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel prepared. Yes, John, the official John B. You did see it on the FAA website, see, Mr. Magma? Okay, I told you not to go and check it, but I mean, I think it's, uh, I've 100% confirmed it now. All right, let's go ahead, everybody. Let's turn this thing on. I don't know why I'm throwing my ideas on. Oh, hold on. Let's throw them on anyway. Crucify. Throw that on there. Let's throw that on. Boom. Oh, hold on. Is that on? I can't see. Yep, it's on. Uh, emergency exit. Well, you definitely need to arm that. People need to know where to go. All right, let's get down into here. What's going on here? Okay, I'm flying at 9,000 feet. Uh, and that's intentional. Uh, speed is going to be 250. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be flying at 9,000 feet. We might need to do some manual adjustments to our heading, depending on what happens with the mountain ranges that we're going to encounter. Pretty much we're just going to make it up as we go, let's be honest. Go ahead and do this. I'm not going to use my checklist today because checklists are for absolute nutters. Not me. I'm a respected pilot. Uh, right, let's go ahead. Hold on. I've got all these previews. There we go. AOC menu. Uh, let's do this. 
in Z, everybody. So here we are in Z for those of you over in the US for some reason. Love that. Um, departure. When you're ready. Come on. Oh, hold on. That is not correct. That is not correct. Uh, N Z. Oh, what were you on my flying to? M H. M H. I think it's grabbed us from. Ah, oh, screw it. It can think that's where we're going. That's fine. Close enough. We will uh, we'll change that later on. Hold on. In it. How the hell did I change that? Here we go. Here we go. NZ. NZ. WB. Boom. Two. NZ. M. H. Oh, shit. She's just blah. You can have full confidence. I don't know what I'm doing. NZ. WB. Woodburn. NZ, NZ, MH. Okay, we got there eventually. Oh, it's already in there. It's already in there. Good. All right. Let's just call this ANZ. ANZ 111 is the emergency number here in New Zealand. So let's just go with that. Cost index. I don't know. Let's make one up. 16 sounds good. Flight level. 095. Ooh, it's going to be a nice. It's going to be a nice um, zero, minus four degrees. Okay, we're good there. We're good there, everybody. Feeling good. Okay, let's go to our performance page right here. Uh, we're going to bang, bang, 0 0.7. Let's just make this up. Down. Sounds close enough. Fix temperature. Looks like a nice day out there. Let's go 50. Go uh, transition to altitude does not matter. Not today. Does not matter today, everybody. Let's throw those in there. I think I've done this too early. Who cares? Okay, good. In it. Okay. Zero fuel weight. How much fuel I got in there? 5.2. It's a perfect amount. It's a perfect amount. I made it a little bit lighter because we are going into this airstrip. Running into the airstrip today, everybody. Flight plan. What the hell is this? No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. I'm ignoring that anyway. I'm ignoring that flight plan, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, we'll just wait for everything to. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Is this automatic or stick? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. So this will get us pretty close. Our actual runway is in here somewhere. Actually need to uh, change the destination. In it. Let's clear this out. N Z W B N I don't even know if you can do this. No. There we go. I don't know. There we go. Now if we go to flight plan. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's just check our flight plan, make sure no discontin discontinuities. Hold on. Sweet. Looks good to me. Nothing happened. Perfect. There we go. Now we're looking good. Here goes our flight plan here, everybody. Direct to NZMH. Perfect. That's looking amazing. All right. Let's get this into New Zealand because I don't understand the other bit. Right. How are we looking, everybody? This is how you do indeed... Uh, you fly this aircraft. I think we're all feeling confident about that, aren't we? All right, let's get our flight controller in front of us. Let's get our whatever this thing does. Let's have a quick look outside. It's looking beautiful out there, everybody, today. We've got all the emergency. These guys are around again saying goodbye to their family. Sorry about that. Right, okay, let's get, get upstairs here. What have I missed? Uh, let's throw our wing and land logo light on. That's fine. Uh, fine, 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 fine. That's good. 
didn't miss anything. Not going to worry about testing the uh, the engine fire or anything like that because um, nothing's going to be putting this out the way as hard as I'm going to be hitting it. Let's go boom, boom. Let's throw our pumps on. No, we should have thrown our APU on ages ago. That's okay. Let's have a bit of a rest. No, we can't turn that on yet. Let's have a rest. Let's have a rest and enjoy the wing view just for a few seconds. So I think you're all feeling pretty confident about this. How? What aircraft is everyone flying? Um, okay, so the way this works is um, this little lever goes up and then as this lever goes up this little indicator these numbers go up too and then these numbers scramble and go up quite fast and this one here now is done as the lever goes down this number goes down that's just that's how that works you're welcome you know i'm happy to explain in depth how these things work all right i think we're looking good feeling great okay let's go ahead and call the tow Let's go ahead and uh, start our pushback. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. Okay. What I need to do is change the, the uh, change the sound so it's coming out of my headset. There we go. That's sounding much better, everybody. He can tell me when we're ready to go. Okay, sir. The bypass pin is installed. All doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed. Good. The parking brakes are set. You may lift. Parking brake set. Lifting the aircraft. King Air. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like it. Well, you said you're standing by. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We are cleared for start and push. Parking brake set. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. I've done that already. Right. Parking brakes are released. Commencing push back. You can start the engines in sequence. It will start in the sequence. Hug direction. Wrong way. This way. Let's just either back there. They should really have a beep. Okay, so there we go. The engine's going on. Let me just back this thing out here. Won't be a problem. Beautiful. Looking good. Now straight back. Let's not clip our wing on there. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take up the whole, take up the whole runway. Okay, I'll do that. Just relax. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. I'm going to put on my ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Engine number one. Holding position, waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Very polite. I like it. Very, very polite. Uh, you can go. It's on. Let's put that on there. You can use your rudder to steer, can you? Nice, there we go. Okay, uh, Captain Safe says, we actually just signed a deal with the Discovery Channel for the exclusive rights to the show. We rule. Yes. Oh, Keith. Grandma is clean and we're ready to taxi. Ha! <laughs> Hold on, I missed a few things here. Ah, crash to desktop. John. Bugger. Air crash investigation. <laughs> Probably on the Discovery Channel. Ha! <laughs> this is a 160 uh, nautical mile flight, everybody. Okay, we can probably get rid of all this now.
looking good. Yep, that engine's looking good. All right. Pretty sure we're pretty safe right here. Let's go ahead and look at our takeoff config. Oh, we need to uh, do this. Or else we can get people freaking. All right. Sorry. No, there will not be. All right. Let's grab these little throttle things here, give them a bit of a whirl. Uh, feeling like a copy, another copy very soon, so we'll have to get the car heat on. Yeah, <laughs> one time at crash camp. Ha! <laughs> yeah, the Discovery Channel where we discover how no one here can fly a plane, let alone land a big plane on a 30-foot strip of turf. <laughs> There's no signs on the Discovery Channel and we'd have to give the plane a makeover. <laughs> Don't forget about the flappy thing too, boss. I put the flappy thing on already. So this runway is about 100 feet longer than the minimum, so heaps of room. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff on here. So these on. Let's throw these on. Oh, beautiful day today, everybody. Looking good. Beautiful. Mr. Magma is in something little. Who you got up there? All right, buddy, 9,000 feet in the Airbus A320. <coughs> completely normal HBB in you might as well go for gold we'll just do a little bit of a tour around here predictive wind shear is off I prefer not to have uh, not to predict anything like that let's go over here this is just the uh, this is fine I put my off-road tyres on, especially for this uh, aircraft, uh, yeah, sorry, um, airstrip we're about to fly into. Oh, I'd like to apologise in advance to E New Zealand for using their colours, their livery. Here we go, come on, formation, take off, let's do it. Go nice. This is the teardrop takeoff. <sighs> a little bit of nose down. Oh, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. 100 knots. Call it out. Oh no, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna easily make it. Easily make it. Pull back. Gear up. Autopilot on now because I'm lazy. Back to climb now because I always forget. Check it out, boys. Beautiful. I can't hear a thing. Screenshot. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, so are we heading in the general direction? We are indeed. 9,000 feet. Beautiful. Everything's looking great. Leave a climb. I did put it in climb, boys. That's in climb, is it? Is it not quite there? There we go. We're in it. It's a little bit finicky, that, to be honest. Let's throw away. Let's get this going on. 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 Look at get that one going on. No, get that one going on. No, get that one. 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 Etc. Okay, uh, what do I need to do? I need to put my flaps up. Just for a laugh. Putting flaps up. Uh, what else do I need to do? I don't know. Let's do this. There we go, that looks good. Beautiful, everybody. I haven't got my uh, thing up because the airport, I haven't got my overlay up because the airport we're going to literally doesn't exist in my overlay thing. 
The real challenge is to get her back down in less than three pieces. Could be a challenge. Here we go, we've got some... <laughs> ah. Welcome everybody. This is going to be... Look, this, look, these are some... That's New Zealand crop circles. Beautiful. Okay, let's just check out our flight plan. Okay, so far so good. What about this? 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 Actually, my favourite view on here is probably this one. This, this one. Yeah, this one here. I like that. Anyway, let's get back to what we're talking about, everybody. Uh, did I miss some? Uh, if I miss some comments, I apologise. Talk to Alan. It's his fault. thousand feet already are we we are all oh, good okay yes nice and low i like this what about this how about about far fig Yes, nice, perfect. Okay, 9,000 feet. These uh, mountains here might be an issue, but uh, let's just wing it, see how we go. I think it shouldn't be a problem. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Beautiful. <laughs> this aircraft, <laughs> you can hear it's like a zero thrust. Mr. Magma giving us a show, I love it. Get in it. Yeah, attach, attach to it. I'd just like to welcome you up uh, into the cockpit here in the uh, it technically is an A320 but uh, we've actually gone ahead and uh, grabbed some parts from a whole bunch of different aircraft uh, so we've got uh, we've got a 737 seats in here uh, they don't actually have the bottom part of the seat just the top bit the bottom bit is actually from a Mark III uh, the seat part the the bot the the buttocks the buttock support is from a mark 3 cortina for cortina um I sh and look you may be asking why do you look so small compared to the seats these seats are from an a380 massive seats uh, that makes complete sense so just shut up uh, so what else did we uh so this panel right here is actually from a uh, a b25 from world war ii seems to be working well i don't even know is a b25 a thing let's just go with it uh, and so you might say, well, none of that stuff there, 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 hold on, there, 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 none of that existed back in 1940. Shut up. Who asked your opinion anyway? Uh, now, I was mentioning the, the uh, car, Pete. It's just down, oh, hold on, just down past this. Oh, my finger's disappearing. Just, just down over here. Uh, and this is probably the perfect time to go down there, grab your milk, just froth it up, get a nice, uh, get a uh, nice uh, warm Nespresso down you. Uh, obviously uh, we have a pouch just behind me right here this pouch here that's for storing our Nespresso capsules in so as you can see a very well catered aircraft um, you may be saying no one's flying the aircraft now what's going on don't worry I, I've got a rear vision mirror I've got a little mirror in front of me right here I can see what's going on it all looks completely fine so just relax but anyway um, some of the passengers did jump out as we were taxiing uh, they were reading our reviews on Google because <laughs> we don't care if your phone's on or not. doesn't matter. It's not going to have a major impact. Uh, the aircraft will have a major impact. Uh, you having your cell phone on will not have a major impact. So 
anyway, I forgot what I was going to say, but uh, that I think I made complete sense right there. So once again, sit back and relax and enjoy the flight. Uh, we will keep the cabin door open for the uh, remainder of the flight, just in case I decide to fall asleep and I need someone to come and take over. So just if you can just keep an eye out on the front, if you see the uh, little uh, autopilot disabled light go off and a little beeping noise, and please come in and uh, fly the plane. Thank you very much. Bloody idiot. Hold on, how are we looking? We're we gonna crash yet? No, we're pretty good at this point. Okay. I don't know if I showed you this before, everybody. What about this? 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 What about that? What about this? What about that? I think we're all happy with that. Hold on, let me. What I was actually going to do is just check. Let's take a look. I'm just going to explain in depth how the engine system works here. There's some dials. So that pretty much sums up how the engine system works. We'll go down here. Uh, we're just going to turn this selection onto normal because I forgot to do that before. All right, back into out here. It's looking good. I think we've got a, a very comfortable clearance by the looks of it. There, it shouldn't be a problem. Feel free to take some photos out the uh, out the aircraft, out the side of the aircraft. There, uh, this should mean we we're able to land very safely in an emergency, which will likely happen. This wind is rough, <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I would I didn't predict it because I didn't have predictive wind shear on. Alright. The aircraft can't seem to make up its mind on uh, how much uh, thrust it wants to put in, but uh, hopefully it'll figure it out after a while. So actually, let's just have a think about this because I'm gonna have to. I'm not. I'm gonna have to kind of do a bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. That's the technical term for this. Oh, hold on, how fast am I going? What speed are we doing here, team? Two fifty. Good. Perfect. So what we're actually gonna do is we'll come down here and then there's actually a little bit of. Oh, actually, we could probably approach from either end. Actually, we might be able to approach down through this valley and down through here. What we'll probably do is overfly the air airport at about three hundred knots and then just see how we go F14 good choice yes <laughs> yes F14 is a good idea you can shoot me down if uh, you know if you need to it's looking good oh, I haven't got my F15 installed oh and I haven't got the F14 sorry you said F14 yeah I have got my F15 installed Flying over the top of the Southern Alps right here. <coughs> uh, the Southern Alps used to be a lot bigger, but then they uh, they actually they actually uh, carved out a lot of the countryside around here and put it on a big container ships and shipped it to Switzerland so they could have some awesome looking Alps. Uh, so you're welcome Switzerland. Uh, that's why this just used to be one big just mountains but you can see now we've got a whole lot of valleys. Uh, that's where the mountains were carved out and sent to Switzerland. It was, uh, it was a thank you gift for being neutral in the war. A 
couple of swigs of vodka just to get some um, confidence for this approach. What about that? Oh shit. Stop wrecking the equipment everybody. The F14 is great on mileage. It is indeed. Okay, good. Good comprehensive flight plan. Sixty knot crosswinds, excellent. Just what we need. There goes one of the moons of New Zealand. There's about four moons that come out. Uh, depends on the alcohol level. Uh, we have four moons. We have the full moon. We have a half moon. We have one cheek moon, two cheek moon, which is the secondary full moon, which comes out around about 1 a.m. Uh, it takes approximately an atmosphere of 13 beers for the one cheek moon to come out. Uh, you add in another three to six vodka and red bulls and that's where the second cheek comes out when you get the full cheek moon uh, so that's how it works in New Zealand I'm not too sure if you uh, it works like that overseas maybe in the northern hemisphere it's a little bit different yes yeah, standard drink of the airline pilots you can't smell it on your breath outstanding there's the choice of alcoholics Although our clocks went forward, so we all need to talk down, to sit down and talk about the, my streaming time moving forward. Uh, do you have daylight saving in the UK or the other way, going backwards? If you do, we might need to adjust my time back an hour. We can all have a talk. Otherwise, we could split the difference and maybe we could start at 2000 GMT. Now, hold on, that's not going to work. The other way, 1900 GMT moving forward. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Send your send your uh, ideas and or complaints through to Alan who will deal with them appropriately. Looks like we're not going to have an issue with the uh, mountains here. A little bit disappointing in some respects. Right, how we're looking for our distance right here team? About halfway. Uh, 108 nautical miles to go. <coughs> very efficient right now very efficient okay what do I need to do looks like we're all under control here boys and girls 3.30 a.m. is early enough <laughs> Chris you're an absolute madman absolute madman Uh, breaking news, a man who took an airline company to court after his luggage went missing has lost his case. If I knew how to ban people, I'd ban you, but except you're too awesome to uh, keep safety. Otherwise you'd be banned. For misappropriation or misuse of uh, dad jokes. Totally unacceptable. Alan, help me out. <laughs> you gotta laugh. What a nice view. Nice up close and personal view here, ladies and gentlemen. Has anyone got the Orbix mesh for New Zealand and is it worth it? Two very important questions. It's pretty, it's not too expensive. Could be worth picking up if it does do a good job. If it makes bugger all difference, then probably won't be. Look at this bloody thing on a slope.
John B lives uh, for the dad jokes, fair enough. Where is the real John B, by the way? Well, not the real one, the other, the alternative one. This will be two in a row that he's missed. I think I've got New Zealand mesh, but now I'm wondering if I've got it enabled right now. <laughs> fair enough. How does it look exactly the same as uh, what you're seeing here, does it? Is the stream coming through nice and clearly, everybody? That's the big question. Let me quickly go into my other channel here. And uh, it's looking good, feeling great. It's looking okay, isn't it? Who the hell's that guy in there? What an idiot. He looks like a complete madman. Go ahead and smash the like button, by the way. If you don't, I'm going to have to probably cancel your Microsoft Flight Simulator subscription. Is it a subscription? I don't think it is. See? I've already cancelled it. Fight children with diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds like a fair fight. Stream is nice and smooth. Nice, Morrissey. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks, everybody, for jumping in and, and putting up with my absolute madness. It's good fun. So this flight here is obviously um, in a, it's in accordance with Kiwi Air procedures, which means make it up as you go which is always fun. Uh, the next flight we'll be conducting will be a nice little flight from Queenstown down to Glen Tanner, or up to Glen Tanner in fact, and that's uh, courtesy of one of our viewers called Alan. Uh, hi Alan, if you're out there, hi, welcome. Uh, he sounds like a nice young man. Uh, I think he's new to the world. Uh, he can't spell, so I think he might be, I think he might be one of my nine-year-old uh, viewers, so welcome Alan, I hope I pronounced that correctly. And we'll fly out of Queenstown, and uh, we'll go up there. So probably it's around about a hundred nautical miles. Now, I'll probably jump in something a little bit smaller, maybe the uh, the Arrow, maybe uh, something else. Is Cruzio? Oh, where the heck he is? When we did this flight, I think he might have got confused with the time being uh, daylight savings and all. Um, overnight here in New Zealand. Beautiful. <coughs> Beautiful looking flight right here. Yeah, this is baby, exactly. Well, he wanted to go up to Auckland. That would have been a standard flight. No canyon runs in the A320? I think we could give it a nudge. We could definitely give it a nudge. Uh, we could start a new series called Can an A320. Alan says, that Captain Save, sorry man, was grabbing a beer. Please send me a full report and I'll sue. <laughs> uh, this is Alan, by the way. Uh, one of our nine-year-old viewers, uh, judging by his request for a flight. It's great to have kids come into the stream, so make sure to keep it PG for Alan. Alan, why are you grabbing a beer? Is it for your dad? Although nine's probably okay in the UK to have a drink, isn't it? And another beer break. I'm rapidly approaching nine months without one alcoholic beverage, everybody. I've come a long way for breaking my ribs, so break dancing and New Year's Eve party to now drinking way more Nespresso than I should be. It's been an emotional journey. Don't recommend it to anybody. All right, let's see what's going on here, boys. How far to go? 79. All right. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Beautiful. Maybe this one. What on this one? This one. No, this one. Let me grab a screenie of that, everybody. Love it. <coughs> Time for a beer, can you hit pause? No worries at all. Done. Ignore the movement. It's just a big money of your imagination. Keith. Okay. 
just Captain Safety uh, Alan says that he doesn't have beer breaks just sleep fair enough so what happened in the football last night I know what happened in the Portsmouth game EPL EPL let me see oh man who keeps putting this microphone here EPL boom let's have a look it's always fun ooh ooh Oh, oh. Whoa, jeez, what about that Liverpool result, everybody? Check that out. Uh, if you don't want to know the results of the football, turn away now and turn your sound down too. Chelsea, zero. Nil, actually. Man City, one. Hold on, is this, is this this weekend? Yes. Aston Villa, one. Man United, zero. Man United lost Aston Villa. What the heck is going? Was that yesterday? Leicester City two, Burnley two. Chris Wood, good New Zealander in that Burnley team, by the way. Uh, Everton two, Norwich City zero. Nil, actually, is how you say it. Remember that. Uh, so Norwich City, they look like they're on the way down, aren't they? Are they one of the ones who just made it up this year? Did it? Yeah, they're last year. Uh, Leeds United one, West Ham two. Watford 1, Newcastle 1. Newcastle 1. Bradford 3, Liverpool 3. And then we've got the Scummers, Southampton against Wolves tomorrow. Uh, Arsenal. <laughs> Never heard of them. Uh, against Tottenham. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Crystal Palace versus Brighton tomorrow too. So there's a range of games going on there. So please tune in to BBC One. I don't know. I just made that up. ITV4. BBC4. Sky TV, Sky Sports. I don't know. Just tune in, wherever you want. Tune in, figure it out yourself. Soccer, yes, Keith, correct. Our Steelers have a lot of injuries. Yes. Well, my team are the 49ers, and they are perfect season so far. Can they go unbeaten? No, they can't. I have a beer. I have a beer called Crank the Juice. Nice, fully fruity. A nice fruity IPA. Nice. Camp Safety 1-1 in Newcastle. That's a win. <laughs> have I landed at this airport before? No. I don't have absolutely no idea what it's about. Go the Niners, Jinky. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to... We're going to have to... Look at this. Hold on. Where are we? We're there. We're fine. How far away are we? 50-odd? 64. It's not a problem, everybody. We are just going to absolutely... This is going to be completely fine. What a beautiful looking... Look at this, got a rainbow. Or is it just all this vodka and drinking? Beautiful looking. There we go. Let's go like this. Absolutely tremendous. Inform the passengers to jump now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, meanwhile, in baseball, because I need to know about this. Oh, come on, Yankees, what are you doing? Oh, yes, going well. 0-0. Zero, zero. Partway through the first. Hold on. I'm happy with that at this point. Tuck and roll. Yep, that's it, that's it. Nice, smooth landing, everybody. Won't be a problem. <laughs> Looking good. Chris can uh, get there in uh, three to six minutes, no problem at all. Taking advantage of the uh, the landscape around here to test out the Tomcat. You know this airport will end it as a heliport. Close enough. Close enough. That's a heliport. Great. I didn't check that. I just went, this is, I literally went like this. 
in the thing I just said show me something halfway down the South Island oh hold on and just give let's look at it oh I'm looking at the wrong thing is it a is it legitimately a heliport is it well this is gonna that's I'm gonna have to really use my reverse my reverse thrusters maybe I need to update the title to heliport ah we have a strip see I know what I'm doing jeez why would you ever doubt me Oh, check this out everybody beautiful what a view for the what a view at least the passengers for their last flight get a uh, absolute tremendous view yeah <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about everybody it's completely fine Mr. Magnet just asked me to strip. I don't think um, I think that is a worse fate than anybody who we're willing to put anybody through. What's the wind doing at ground level? Doesn't really matter, does it? To be honest, doesn't really matter. Okay. Forty-four away. I wonder what the uh, altitude of this thing is. Doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out. Oh, I haven't got my. Um, I haven't got my thing. I haven't got my uh, thing up. It won't show. It won't show because I haven't got my overlay up. Let's just say it's going to be between seven hundred and seven thousand. Okay, buddy. So I mean, it'd be good to know uh, what's the altitude that we're flying into. NZMH. I don't even think it exists, to be honest. Oh, no, oh, yeah, no, you're talking about Masterton Hospital Heliport, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not what this is. Is this it here? Is this our... How far away are we? We're still 40 away. I think we could probably go down by a thousand feet, couldn't we? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Get a much better view down here. Now we're looking into destination data. No, thanks. All right. Okay. Hold on, get that bloody thing out of my face. Let's get the, there we go, Q&H is actually 1006. That's going to make all the difference, everybody. Actually, I think I might just flip this over here. Oh, no. Here we go. Let's just make it 8 by. There we go. Close enough. Straight down this valley. We're looking awesome. This is VFR, this thing in. Okay, so we'll come across the lake, and when we come across the lake, we'll turn to the right, and then we'll 
There we go. Perfect approach. This is going to be freaking amazing. This is going to be... I'll tell you what. The passengers are already saying, thank God we've got an outstanding pilot to get us there. And that's really what they're saying. I can hear them from here. Birdie away. There we go. We've got it there. That's nice. I've got a funny feeling we might have... Uh, might need to get a little bit of altitude soon, won't be a problem. Oh look, we're green dotting it, nice, okay, I like it, we've slowed right down. Okay. Everything is perfect thus far. Absolutely tremendous. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? Okay. Let's just quickly check out my VFR map here. Or here it is, which confirms that we are indeed flying VFA. Yeah, we've just got to clip the edge and then move around. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Get a beautiful view out there. Look at that. Who's that zooming on by? Jinky. Absolutely tremendous. There we go. See, we can, we can see what's happening with the terrain. We can go around there, just here. There we go. In fact, how about we start heading over in that direction now? Beautiful. Absolutely tremendous, everybody. Is it just on the other side of here? How far have we got to go? 25. It's a little bit further, eh? Okay, what's beeping at me? No. Whatever was beeping at me, it can wait. Didn't seem that urgent. Is it down through this little gap here, is it? Okay, buddy, make sure you hold on tight. Just a little bit more to the right here. What is the altitude that we're going towards here? I don't know, but let's get down. Let's get down to about... I reckon down to about 6,000 feet. Seems good. Hold on, come on, come on. Managed. That sounds good. This might be a bit of an issue right here, everybody. Just relax. Nuka Point Lodge airstrip coming above. Uh, Captain Safety says my creditor called me the other day. He said you have an outstanding account. I said thank you for noticing and hung up. <sighs> hmm. Alan? I'm not sure we're happy about that, are we? So this mountain range here, there must be a gap up here. Six out of ten. There we go. You have been Alan. Alan score. Okay. How far above ground level are we right now? Well, two thousand five hundred. Thank you. That's what I needed to know. Perfect. You just throw one notch of flap on. We'll keep it nice. Uh, so 2,500, so five. Let's just get down to four fives where we want to be. Let's manage that spur. Ba -bum. Oh, hold on, not four five, idiot. Five five.
let's uh, just go over here. I think there's a gap right there. I can see we're flying right past here, and then we're turning around there, and we're in there. Won't be a problem. This is going to be so smooth. This airstrip's going to be so long. Heaps of room to land in here. Beautiful approach. Okay, Chris. Chris is aimed for me. It's tiny. Hey, sorry to hear about that, Chris. Um, I'm not sure if there's any procedures that can fix that, but uh, that's fine. It's not uh, how big it is, it's what you do with it. That's okay, Alan. I know you stole my anti happy. <laughs> okay, how far away are we, team? 12. <coughs> this could be an issue. But not... Shouldn't be, shouldn't be a problem, though. Might be an issue, but won't be a problem. This will be the first time these local residents have seen an A320 fly in here. Beautiful. Look at this. Check it out. I mean, the passengers couldn't have asked for a nicer flight. What about this? What about this? All right. Feeling good about this. I don't know about you guys. Where are we? Four seven. I think we can get down another. Let's get down to about four, eh? I think it's a good number. Seems like a good number. Two thousand five hundred. Okay, that's good. Let's get another flap out there, boy. Ten to go. <laughs> last famous, feeling good about this last famous words. Ha, huh, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, what's our, our checklist is? Turn that light on. There we go. We are now ready for, oh, we might need some auto brakes. I don't think it lets you do that. Should probably arm our spoilers. Kind of feels good. Feels good. Okay. Gear down, everything down. Very three thousand, I think three five is probably gonna be good enough, to be honest. Aim for Chris is the go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wrong button. Wrong button. Three four. Here we go, boys. Low and slow. Low and slow is good enough. Is it really? Okay, Chris O's there. Okay, we're loving it, everybody. We are absolutely loving this. A nice wide open area. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Knock the lever. Chriso. No, no, no. Leave that there. Is that the airport there? Okay, Chriso. Is that the airport there? The strip is at 2313. Okay, it's only 2,200 feet shorter than we need it to be. All tailwind too, so that's definitely going to help. I 
Okay, so it's right before the lake. Oh, we might end up in the lake. That's good. That's going to help slow us down. Couple of screenies to remember of the flight by. Arrive. We're not quite. Oh, Kevin. There we go. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. Just get down nice and low. Nice shallow approach here, everybody. I'm ready to record. <laughs> One thousand. <laughs> Are we? Three, two. Okay, I think we can probably live off at three. It's good. good. This is going to be shallow. Very shallow. How are we looking here? Heading straight for it. <laughs> Look at the nose up. <laughs> okay. Where are you, Chris? All right. I think we can autopilot off. I'm on my own, everybody. Uh, I'd just uh, like to thank everybody for flying Kiwi Air. There's a mild zero. Uh, hold on. There's a mild uh, six knot wind on approach here. So a very nice day here. Where is the actual strip? Oh, yeah, I see it there. I can see it. Is that it? Uh... 300. There it is. I can see it. All right, so I'm just going to land a little bit short of the strip. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Beautiful. Hold on, is there a... Right, let's get down. Let's get down. 50. Retard. Five. Where's this? Perfect. Into the runoff area. Excellent. I love these combination grass strips. Why is people landing into the wind? Absolutely tremendous. I'd like to thank everybody for flying Kiwi Air. Uh, I just need to taxi back and pick up my landing gear. I'll just uh, go here. Oh, hold on. Oh, where am I going? Beautiful. Okay. Um, shouldn't be a problem. We'll just park over here. I think that was a uh, pretty comfortable approach right there. New pants for everybody on the way out. That is definitely happening. Let me just open the door for you all. There we go. Then you can jump out. There we go. Just jump out. Shouldn't be a problem. My spoilers are still up. <laughs> I like to be realistic. Putting them down. Totally realistic. All right. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Smooth as, Joe. You know it. There we go. DB8000 coming in. Yeah, this hybrid, uh, I think we touched down around about here. 
in the uh, grass extension of the runway right here. All right, here we go. Who's this? Huin's coming in. Looking good. Av perfect. Into the grass extension. Forgot to put landing gear down. There we go. It's come back. Beautiful. Looking good. I think this is pretty outstanding, to be honest. Who else we got to come in? I think that's it, isn't it? Outstanding, everybody. <laughs> and any bit of tailwind did not help me that much. <laughs> oh. Nice work, everybody. Well, so the next flight we're going to do is how about we get out into the menu? Boom. I enjoyed that. That was awesome fun. I, look, I have full confidence in myself. I don't know about you guys. I don't think there's a problem. Before I think about it, let's go to options. Let's go to controls. Let's go to this. Let's go to. Uh, no throttle, no yoke is where we want to be. And we're going to grab this one. Boom, done. Apply and save. Get rid of that throttle. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we'll start off at NZQN. And we will go to. Uh, let's start off one of the bigger ramps. NZGT. Glen Tanner. This is where we're going, boys. 110 nautical miles. Beautiful. All right, let's check out what, what aircraft should I fly today. I haven't flying the turbo for a while. Um, or maybe I'll go on the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, now which one do we have the... I think the standard... Uh, no, Arrow... Arrow 3, I think. We've got the livery for Kiwi Air, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Got to fly that. Standard Arrow. That's what I'm doing, everybody. So, NZQN to NZGT. That is the... You absolute... Oh, here we go. It's the middle of the night, apparently. Bang that back. Let's do it. It was pretty good. <laughs> hey, Captain Safety, thank you. Very good to see you. Safety conference, beautiful. Thank you so much for jumping in. Uh, thanks again for uh, signing off. Really do appreciate it. Let's unpin this message, everybody. Unpin the message. Let's go ahead and go NZQN to NZTG. No, uh, TN. Oh, what was it? GT. Boom. Okay, that's good. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. There we go. So this is um, yeah. So this is the random email I got during the week from the guys at Anybuilds who gave me uh, a copy of their NZQN scenery. I like it. I like it. Uh, one thing I would say: the only I'll point out straight away: the only thing I don't that some people might have an issue with is some of these uh like when you get up close to some of these uh some of these images they do go a bit fuzzy also internally it's real it's just low quality um images and stuff as you can see here like that so that's the only real thing that i would say that's not um yeah that might people might not like about it but apart from that the actual look of the airport uh, i love the textures the serrated um runway and also the uh, you know the oil marks all that sort of stuff and the actual coloring of the textures around here for me i really like that so yeah i was pretty stoked to um, get a look at this so yeah it's not bad at all actually not bad at all what's happening with the uh what is happening with the wind okay that way so taken off to the south well, how, how strong is the wind Anyway, you beauty. Let's jump in. Shocks, tie downs, get rid of it. Left yoke, get rid of that. Hold on. Get rid of that. 122.8. Because we are seriously realistic right here, as you know. Uh, hold on, we've got to put in our emergency. Seven, seven. 
Am I flying on live weather? Should be. Yeah. How is it different? Is it different for you, is it? Not least it's changed since I loaded up the sim. What should it be? Maybe a glitch. Could be a glitch in the matrix. one I turn the beacon light on afterwards because I'm an absolute screw it let's just do it that way that will do uh, fuel pump popped No fan. Okay, uh, so why is my GPS not working? Why is my GPS not working? It hasn't got one of these weird switches, has it? Hold on. 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 On, on. On! Here we go. Let's turn it up. Ah, oh, it's got this stupid thing. Direct, direct two. I hate how that does that. Uh, in. In. Z. G. T. T. Enter, enter. There we go. Beautiful. David Bird, hello from First Time Live Joiner. How are you doing? Thanks for the name check in the last landing. After getting the kids in bed, I caught you up on four times. Under <laughs> four times. Nice. <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome to the madness. You can, you can have full confidence that we know what we're talking about. That's a complete lie. Okay. Welcome. All right. How are we looking, everybody? Who's all good to go? Who's feeling emotional about uh, going for a flight? Is everyone already out there? Am I miles behind? I am indeed. Oh, that's right, the parking brake doesn't release on here. Got to do it manually. Watch out, guy. Alright, we're away. Okay, landing light is. On. Crash your desktop, Jinky. Stink. Love the good old uh, Piper arrow, particularly the uh, colours, the Kiwi Air colours right here. Love it. Beautiful day here in Queenstown. Let me go and get another Nespresso soon, everybody. Let's just get up to cruising altitude. Actually, let's have a think about what we're going to do here. North odd. I'm thinking 9,000 feet. I'm thinking 9,000 to go. Do we have any alternatives, alternatives to that? Maybe 9 or 11 is a go. Let's go 9.5. 9,500 feet. North odd in New Zealand. North odd, south even. I'm just going to get cut across here and take off from here. I don't need the full runway. North Island, South Even. We're away. Whoop, someone's just taken off, no problem at all. Whoa, yay, yay. Right, let's do a nice shallow departure here this is one of the sids that isn't on the charts across the cricket ground right across it there we go there's grass on the wicket let's play all right 
Beautiful. It was legit. Okay. Okay, let's, how about we go ahead and we'll go, um, let's just go like this. Let's go autopilot on, throw it onto nav, throw in the heading switch. We're going a little bit too fast. Paul, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. We're here departing from Queenstown on our way up to Glen Tanner. Okay, I'll put the landing gear up. Just for a laugh. Just for a laugh. Landing gear. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm kind of okay with this at this point. Kind of okay. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I'll take it. What a sight, everybody. Queenstown, New Zealand. Absolutely sensational. Thank you, everybody, by the way, for jumping in and following the stream. If you are flying along, that's awesome, too. Thank you so much. It's always a lot of fun, and these are definitely the highlight of my week, jumping on here and uh, going for gold. We do things a little bit different around here, differently around here. Or does everyone else do it differently? Yes. Maybe every single other real pilot does it differently, and I do it properly. Let's go with that. It's a beautiful day here in Queenstown. We depart to the north on our way to Glen Tanner, the Southern Alps. We're getting over those, kind of near them. As we depart, if you take a look outside your left-hand window, you'll see Arrowtown. Some nice golf courses there also. Was a gold mining town many, many years ago. Right there below us. There, there, there. That's Arrowtown right there. Just up over in the uh, background there is where all the where our ski fields are. Coronet Peak just over in the background there. Over here on the Remarkables, you can see that road that goes up there. That's another ski field. Great place to go skiing. That's why they put the ski fields there. Makes sense. I'm a wealth of knowledge. Okay, up to 5,000 feet. working anymore I forgot what happened with that but there's something going on okay we're up to 5,000 feet let's just get our altimeter set there beautiful day just coming into uh, sort of uh, well into spring now here in New Zealand daylight saving just happened over the weekend so uh, I actually started the stream 8 30 local time usually I start at 7 30 local time a.m on a Sunday morning, 8.30 today, just so we could keep to our 1900, 1930s. That and other useless information to come. Stay tuned. So very soon, once we get to the cruising altitude, I'm going to pop into the kitchen and make myself a Nespresso, uh, courtesy of George Clooney, who I know personally. I've never met him, but I know him personally. I saw him on TV. That's how it works. So 9,500 is what we're going for here, team. Beautiful. Love this departure. <laughs> couple of names I don't recognize here make yourself known in the chat uh, Alan will welcome you with open arms he 
he's good like that. Team just under 100, we're looking for 90 really, but uh, we'll take this. Yeah, that light annoys me, so let's sort that out. Having issues there, boys. You can't well give anybody on two nervous about tomorrow. <laughs> Fair enough, it is a big game. Absolutely tremendous here, everybody. Aerobatic show going on up there. Love it. By D Jeff. DJ Int God. D Gent. DJ Dejent. Jeff. Hope I pronounced that correctly. How we're looking for altitude here, team. Coming up to 9,000. Nine and a half should be good. If it's not, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble, but hey. Worry about that at a later time. But bumpity up here, team. Uh, if we go much higher, we'll need um, oxygen, which we don't have. I do have helium, so that will work well for us. Okay, just waiting for this to. It's held its climb nicely, actually. Held its climb real nice. Just wait for it to get up to uh, 9,500. We'll whack on the altitude hold. We'll let our speed just get up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Level this thing out. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll let this uh, just get some... Uh, Get some speed up over here. And we'll just pull back the throttle slightly. Just to get ourselves into the green. That will do. That's looking good, feeling great. Probably could do some mixture and stuff. This isn't the turbo, right? So I think we'd need to do mixture. I can't remember. Is it fuel injected? I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's got a mixture lever. I should probably do something with it. I can't be bothered. Let's go with this. All right, team, I'm going to grab a coffee. We'll see you back in just a few seconds. Uh, talk amongst yourself quietly.
Okay. Okay, everybody. So, um, I've got a crime to commit, everybody. Uh, I've got a crime to commit. I've got a crime to report. I've got a crime to report. I was just out getting a coffee and someone, and I didn't, like, it's pretty bad, but someone farted in my pants. So, if we've got any uh, law enforcement here, I need to uh, report a crime. Absolutely disgraceful behaviour by some criminal. Okay, we, where are we right here, everybody? Oh, yeah, okay, 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 I'm with you. We're at Wanaka. By the looks of it, are we? Are we at Wanaka? Uh, looks very Wanaka-ish. Are we? I have no idea where we are. Have a look here. Get into our... NZ, W, there we go. W, there we go. We are at Wanaka. In fact, yeah, there we go. It's Wanaka. There we go. Thought so. So where they have war warbirds over Wanaka flying out of there. Beautiful. Some more crop circles, New Zealand style. What's going on here, boys? I think I need to go like this, and then go to this view, and then go to this view, unfortunately, which I don't like. It's still, it's this issue with the, uh, it's a known issue with the tilt and the, um, the if you've got a Xbox controller and it's got a, a the uh, camera tilts like that when you're in drone mode, it is a known issue. Apparently being fixed, eventually. Oh, it's good Nespresso. Thanks, George Clooney. Appreciate appreciate that sponsorship. How are we going with that sponsor sponsorship? Anyway, Alan, I haven't heard it had an update for a while. Clouds to the north look beautiful. Okay. John B. John B, you, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing amazing apart from we landed a A320 into a grass or into a small airstrip. Apart from that, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Just the usual Kiwi air shenanigans, it'll be fair to say. Uh, Alan told some terrible dad jokes or have you well you rated terrible dad jokes actually uh, GC has promised an update after he's finished playing at centre back for Arsenal tomorrow okay good good to see all over it this is a nice flight this one there's no doubt about it one of the best uh, by land it, he means tore up the lawn either end of the strip. Well, uh, that that may be an accurate representation of what happened. That may be. I might have to agree with that, actually.
It's all happening in the world of sport at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at that tilt. Tilts me, that tilt. Totally tilts me. United game earlier was abysmal. I know. I saw that result. I was like, what the hell is going on? Absolute shocker. Hold on, can you guys see that? You can. Let me move that over here. Let's move that back here. Let's move that there. Move that there. Then move that there. Beautiful. Ah, oh, so it's another beta weekend of Icarus, by the way, the survival, um, the survival game. So I've been enjoying it. It's fairly decent. As always with all survival games, it's a bit grindy, but that's what you expect. But it's got some cool features. So the weather, the weather, the weather events are cool. Uh, the lightning striking your house and burning it down is not cool. But I do, I do enjoy the um, what they've put together actually. It was so bad. Oh, so guys got detention on Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. But apart from that, um, oh hey, that's what I was gonna say actually, because I know a few of you have got Xbox Game Pass Live etc for um for pc i've been playing quite a bit of when i say playing quite a bit i played it for like two hours the other day um of forza horizon we need to do some multiplayer on that that is a bloody good game it's a bloody good game and the graphics are man i enjoy the graphics on that it's a bloody it's bloody fun but it's always a laugh when i see everyone else's um gamer tags racing around in it when when you're um you know, when you're doing races and stuff, but man, it's good. It is so good, but we need to set up a multiplayer and just go for it. It's so much fun. The, yeah, I just couldn't believe... I didn't realise how many different cars there are in that bloody game. So many. And like the... Um, yeah, like, I mean, it only got released about 50 years ago. I'm way behind the curve, obviously, but like the... the um, uh, what's it called? What's the name? Oh, um... What's the frickin' name of the uh, TV program that's on there? You know, the big one. The um, Jeremy Clarkson used to host. Come on, help me out, someone. Total mental block. Yeah, looking forward to Horizon 5, definitely. Top Gear, thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. And we've got the Top Gear... Um, They've got Top Gear challenges and stuff like that. I bloody enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Or Top Geek, as Frank just said. Close enough. Close enough. But yeah, I just... Oh, man. It's a, it's a bloody great game. Uh, John says, every week there, there's a moment where you confidently announce what game we will need to play and then we don't play anything. Yes, but we need to play that. We need to organize an offline version of that in the, uh, in the Discord. The problem is time zones is one of the major challenges, obviously. Forza Horizon 4. It's on Game Pass for Xbox. Hmm. There's a lot of things I'd like to do, John, but uh, yeah. It's always, it's always good to have a confident announcement. And then totally ignore it. But no, it is a... I do, enjoy, I do enjoy that game. It's bloody fun. I don't know if any of you guys have played it actually online on multiplayer and, and can comment on what it's like. It looks like it's all good. Your gaming choices feel quite niche sometimes. Ah, no, fair enough. Stick to what you like. There's no problem with that. Up for a couple of races post stream. Still like 4 a.m. over there, isn't it? Oh, my computer has not updated. The daylight savings. That's weird. Oh, 
Ah, oh, your Xbox Game Pass subscription is expired now. Is this race on? 5.15. Ah, 5.15. Right, yeah. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, because we're... This is not the time. Nice. That's 5.15 p.m. right on with you. I am with you. I just use my controller. What do you guys use? Uh, downloading Forza Horizon 4 now. No played in racing game since Chase HQ on the ZX. <laughs> Got to love throwing the body clock around. Yeah, I reckon. Man. Jesus. How are we looking here? 34 nautical miles to go. I'm just going to play on my uh, controller though. Yeah, but let's... Uh, how are we looking for time? See if we can knock out a couple of games at the end of this year. We'll do it off stream. Off stream though. Yeah, Xbox controller, yeah, cool. Same. I, I will set up my wheel at some stage should do it. I just I can't be asked half the time. That's the main issue. But we'll organise it in Discord. Well, here we go. Knock out a couple of games just to try it out. Uh, Tim says, I'm not sure I trust our pilot. He has a wine top on and is drinking from a teacup. Uh, this is actually a coffee cup. Yes. <laughs> but um, no, uh, you know, you're correct. You can't trust me. Definitely. Oh, shirt reveal coming up in the next couple of streams, depending on when my new shirt arrives, everybody. You're going to love my new shirt. Oh, I'm excited about uh, showing it to you all. It's going to be absolutely tremendous. Uh, Jinky says, should be noted that even with my racing rig, I drive as bad as I fly, as in my wheel gives me stick shaker warnings. <laughs> uh, Alan says, I don't use controller or wheel, I steer with my mind. Is that using the dark or the light of force? The dark side or the light side of the force, is what I'm trying to say there. I trust Mace completely. I trust he'll fail at trying not to crash. Exactly. Exactly. That makes complete sense to everybody. Alan is very much a British Yuri Geller. <laughs> My mind is completely dark. There is no light. <laughs> Sounds like the brown side of the force. <laughs> no, some spoon bending stuff. Chris says a failed landing is a successful ditching or terrain impact, so winning all round, really. Exactly. It's just how you look at it, really. It's all about the, you know, it's all in the mind of the of the beholder. Always to that effect. Okay, let's check this out, boys. We'll just pop over the top of this mountain and then we'll s dive in. I'm not too sure. About that one, John. Okay, let's just grab this here. I'm just going to make our way. 
just over here a touch. Discord. David says, how does Discord work? I have the app and the account, but after that... Well, what you do is, yeah, yeah. So open up the app and then, yeah, click on that link that um, John has just brought up. And um, then you then you can join our Discord and you can go in there. We've got a whole different... It's just like a forum, kind of, where you just... There's different categories and we just post absolute rubbish and all of it. That's essentially how it works. Does, does anyone disagree? It's absolute rubbish. <laughs> Alan. Alan, disgrace. Fair enough, though. Okay, I'm turning my altitude hold off. Let's just... Drop some altitude here. This isn't correct, but let's put out. But everyone, welcome in the Discord. Definitely come and uh, say hello. There's always some, as I always say, some scintillating repartee to be had in there. Also, Alan posts in there. So just be aware of that. Send at this speed, but let's just do it anyway. This is a beautiful approach down in here. Great part of the world, I tell you. Love it. They, this, these wings may or may not make it. <laughs> Emotional by John B. There, my dear friends, whatever you can visualize, you can materialize. Always believe in yourself. You have mind power. Yuri's latest tweet. Not even joking. There we go. Get in there. Obviously, there's a bit of a backstory. I'm not really up with the play on that one, but let's just go with it. Okay, descending nicely here. Just 17 nautical miles to go. We'll hit the edge of this lake, then we can turn in onto our final approach. Won't be a problem. Absolutely tremendous. It's annoying how that doesn't open very well now.
Nightbot coming in with the if you're new please consider subscribing it costs nothing or accept a little bit of self-respect you know it Nightbot I don't think we've got any self-respect left amongst this, this group have we well zero self-respect let's go boys Hmm, may or may not make it over this hill here. Let's just play it by ear and see how we go. Looking good, feeling great. Cruising on in. Ten nautical miles. Wind is eighteen knots at one seven six. Ah, eighteen knots at one seven six. Wow, why break with tradition? Let's go ahead and land with an eighteen knot tailwind. Sounds completely legitimate. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, better than one seventy six knots at eighteen eight zero one eight. Let's have a vote and do it my way. All right. 18 knot tailwind. Challenge accepted. Just the aerodrome is just up on the edge of this lake. Yeah, beautiful blue lake you get in this part of New Zealand. Although the sun reflecting off it doesn't help. Boom, here we go. I'm on live weather and have a two knot crosswind. Okay. Sweet. Either or, I'm going straight in. It's the right thing to do. Ah, oh, little nav map. All right. We'll hold off doing anything drastic for a while here.
We'll get some flaps out very soon. My... <laughs> My ear speed indicator has frozen. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Thought so. I thought I had frozen. My ear speed indicator legitimately froze right there. Oh, what's going on, boys? Oh, oh, oh. Let's turn the autopilot off. Hold on, what's going on here? Off, off, off. What is going on? Okay, we're, we're completely under control now. Had flashbacks back to dolphin time there, everybody. We know that was a beautiful time back in Kiwi Air history. Okay, I'm fine, a little bit low, doesn't matter. We'll come in here. Have we got our landing gear down? We have indeed. Beautiful, check that out. Okay. We'll cruise on on here, touchdown, beautiful. One twenty eight, that's pretty average. It was fine though. I'm not breaking anything. That's a very slight cross one, yeah, so I'm not too sure what little little nav map's up to. Beautiful. Get a little uh, screenshot just while I'm sitting here, actually. Beautiful. All right, let's check out these absolute maniacs coming in here, team. One of those no gear landings again. Oh, that gear did appear. Whoa, what have we got going on here? Okay, Frank's just doing a bit of a touch and go. That's all good. I'm gonna open this window up here, Tink. Jim Key says yes to Horizon. There we go, he's got his wheel out. Medieval city builder. So are we saying Kingdom comes to go or medieval city builder? Here comes Huyen. Mm. 
they'll look completely fine to me. Frank's actually deciding to land now, so that's good. Chris is in the Nespresso Cessna 208. Love it. Here comes Alan. Not too bad. Not too bad. Who's that? I must have that was music. Welcome. These guys have got a little bit of way to go. Let's do a quick debrief, everybody. Oh, right, here comes Icarus. He's just about in here, is he? Coming in fast. What's he in? Ah, oh, Mayday's landing the goose. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Nice and smooth. All right, let's get out. Let's get Mayday. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, eh? Catch up with Mayday. Have I actually got that model, though? I don't. I don't have that model, so that's not going to be any good. Ha! Okay. Let's just quickly run over. Uh, I think I'll meet you all back at um, Kiwi Air headquarters, everybody, for a quick debrief. For those of you that want to stick around after the stream, we'll fire up and do a couple of uh, races on Horizon as well. And then uh, we'll get into it. So I'll see you over at uh, Kiwi Air Base, everybody. Yeah, it's good to be back at the home airbase, everybody, and uh, we've got our aircraft parked in there. That is a Cessna 172. We didn't fly that today, by the way. Uh, I think, you know, one thing you didn't know was that I was actually testing the limits of the Airbus today for Airbus. Uh, they are the official sponsor of the stream. Once again, they're not aware of that, uh, but I would like to thank them for officially sponsoring the stream and uh, for appointing me as one of their test pilots I think we'll all agree that uh, my flying skill certainly will put all aircraft to the test no matter what it is so uh, big shout out to your bus but once again I think that um, if you want to be a Kiwi Air pilot uh, what you need to do is first of all go to a Weetbix packet and get your pilot's license uh, it should cost you about $4.99 New Zealand there or thereabouts uh, that then there qualifies you to fly at least 600 passengers at once uh, that's the uh, that's the capacity of an A320. Well, our capacity A320, 600 passengers. So, look to uh, look to go ahead and do that. But uh, anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody jumping on board, flying with us today at Kiwi Air. Uh, it's good to be back at home base here. It's been an absolutely emotional journey today. I think you'll all agree. Uh, it's always good that I can show off my absolutely sensational flying skills, uh, and. Uh, you know, and my attention to detail and safety, I think we can all agree that's what uh, that's what it's all about. But once again, everybody will look to be back into it again next weekend. Uh, I might have put a call out uh, earlier this time for those of you that want to recommend what flight we should be doing. Uh, and I'll completely ignore that and do my own thing. But uh, once again, thank you very much. Uh, remember, shut up. Don't eat yellow snow. Until next time, everybody, take it easy.